Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. 2y squared equals 13y plus 45. We're going to solve it by factoring. All right. Well, to factor, we have to, I want to get this polynomial equal to zero. So to do that, I have a 2y, I'll rewrite it here, y squared, but I'm going to subtract a 13y to both sides and subtract a 45 to both sides, leaving me having it equal to zero. Okay, so I'm subtracting 13y to both sides and 45 to both sides. And now it becomes a little difficult, especially with a coefficient here, an a value of two. I want to ask myself what two numbers what two numbers multiply to be a negative 45, so one's going to be positive, one's negative. But when I add them, so when I add the two numbers, put a little thing here, add them, uh, they have to be a negative 13, but one is multiplied by a 2. Okay, so when I break this out, we'll see it's going to be a 2y like this, and a 1y as such, and we have like a and b right there. 2y times y is my 2y squared. That's why we have to have it like this. So what number is multiplied to be negative 45? Let's start with that. Um, that somehow gets me close to 13. Well, I think 9 and 5 are kind of close to 13, so let's just try 9 and a 5. Let's go with that. Well, 9 and 5, well, 9 plus 5 isn't a 13, and if we have both negative, we can get the negative, or we have positive 45, so 1 has to be well, negative, but I want to add it to somehow get a negative 13. Well, what if we, 9 and 5, right, 9 and 5, 2 gets multiplied by one of them. So if we have negative 9 and a positive 5, if we want to see how they will add up to be a negative 13, 2 gets multiplied by one of them, so 2 times a negative 9 plus a positive 5. What happens here? Well, 2 times negative 9 is a negative 18. A negative 18 plus 5 is a negative 13. And we know negative 9 times 5 is a negative 45. As you get more familiar with factoring, you're going to start recognizing numbers to test first. Your previous method, you kind of went through all the factors of, well, 45, and that's going to be a lot of them here to kind of test. But I like to start with my first kind of guess that's like, well, can I add these in some way? Is it kind of close to the B value that I need? And go from there. And we got it on the first try. Plus, I already knew this problem. So let's go put them in here. 9, now be careful. Negative 9 has to get multiplied by the 2 for this to work. So that's been the opposite side, minus a 9 here. And I have plus a 5 on the other side. Now we can use the zero, you know, what is it? zero product property here and set both parts equal to 0. 2y plus 5 equals 0, and y minus 9 equals a 0. All right. From there, we have, well, 2y plus 5, um, subtract a 5 to both sides, forgot what I was doing for a second, and 2y equals a negative 5, divide by 2, and, well, I'll put it up here, y equals the last part as a negative 5 halves. The second one here, I want to add a 9 to both sides, and y equals 9. So I'll put y equals negative 5 halves here. So y equals a positive 9 is our other value. And there we have it. We solved by factoring. There are two solutions that are true to this equation. So 2y squared equals 13y plus 45. Two possible solutions are y equals negative 5 halves and y equals 9. I hope you learned something here on how to solve a quadratic equation by factoring. And if you did, Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.